doing well. So I'm just in the start. So I'm just in the Walmart parking lot because I've got some Walmarting to do. Um, and I've got my Starbucks because obviously. Um, and I want to show you my balaclava. So I, I asked my, I've been seeing balaclavas on the internet, like people, girl, girlies wearing balaclavas. Um, and they've been so cute. So I wanted to try one out myself. And I asked my husband for Christmas to get me one from Combi that I saw on Instagram. And I don't know. Let's see. Do I look insane? You know, if people think I look insane, I'll just be like, excuse me. It's fashion. You know, it's a little big. But it is cute. I don't know, whatever. It's Canada. Like, who's going to judge me? Like, it's cold. Anyways, I'm going to wear this. I'm going to wear this in Walmart. Excuse me. It's fashion. I'm cute. The best. These are so good. The Zesty Ranch version, really good. Two of them. another one of these because I go through them every two months and I need munch mitts munch mitts for the teething baby to buy baby cereal but I don't know what I'm doing so I got some Gerber rice cereal and I got some Gerber oat cereal do I have to get anything else I heard not to only give them rice because then they can get arsenic poisoning which sounds terrible yeah don't know what I'm doing I, I need to google this clearly Okay, now I'm going to go inside the British Pride Bakery, which is a new bakery um, in Ottawa. And I need to get my Yorkshire Gold Tea that is, um, it's flavored though. It's, gosh, what is it? It's like malted baked biscuit. And it tastes really good. Um, I got the idea from Charlotte in Japan, who's another YouTuber, which I, who I love. Um, I watch her all the time. So she loves that tea and I was like, mm, I want to try that tea. So I'm going there to get my special tea. It's the next day and I'm currently at HomeSense which is home goods for Americans and TK Maxx, I believe, for the UK and Australia. I don't know. I don't know if you got anything. Um, but anyways, I really wanted an excuse to go to HomeSense. Oh, also, we're on my phone because I have my camera and I forgot to put my SD card back in. Yeah, that happened. So anyways, I'm just going to record some stuff with my phone. But I, my friend mentioned that she was getting some really good coffee syrups, my friend Cynthia, at HomeSense. So I was like, 
I need an excuse to go there. So I'm going to go check out the coffee syrups. Let's go do that. Check out this heart mushroom. for the quality here is a bit meh. Cute Squishmallow. These would be really cute to have pastries in your house. So I bought a hazelnut uh, coffee flavor -er thingy and we'll see if it's any good. I don't know. The flavors, they didn't have that many flavors. They had like vanilla, hazelnut, and chocolate. So I don't know. We'll see if this is any good. Okay, so I have my Lush bath form order, finally. Um, I'm so excited to open it. It's got that Lush smell. You know like how Subway has that smell? Lush has a Lush smell. It's good, but it's got, you know when it's Lush. I'm gonna open this with my hands. Oh, hi Moon. Moon's trying to play with the monkey I just bought him. Oops. Hey buddy. Okay, so it explains everything that I got in here because I kind of forgot. Moon, enough kisses. I kind of forgot what I bought. So, let's see. First ones first is, ooh. The, so there's it, there's Valentine's Day promotion going on right now. So there was a lot of cute like heart stuff. Um, there was one that was $20 that was really cute, but $20? Anyways, I bought some more affordable ones. So this is the Love Potion one and ingredients. Gorgeous fragrance. Okay, I wish I told you like what the scent was. Um, I'm seeing, okay, mandarin, orange, almond, corn. Let's go with mandarin, orange and uh, almond. But yeah, it smells amazing. So that's the first one. Second one in this box. Ooh, the salt cube. Ooh, I can't wait for this one. This one will probably be really relaxing. So salt water, salt water soother cube. Say that five times fast. Um, oh, it smells really good. So this one's peppermint, eucalyptus, 
twig oil and spearmint. Okay, loving this one. This one so far is my favorite. There's a lot of packing peanuts, so I have to try Ooh, boom, there's a cow one. I bought a cow one. Um, okay, this one. What is that? I know that smell. Toby's Magic Cow is what this one's called. I should be bringing these closer to the camera. And here we go. So we've got Toby's Magic Cow, and this one has orange, coconut. Okay, orange and coconut. <laughs> There's gotta be something else. There's something? Mmm, it smells really good. Oh, it says Pogo Stemmen Oil, fruit extract. Okay, lots of things that I don't know, but um, it smells really, really good. I would. 100% suggest this one. And then last one. Ooh, just a little love letter. This, this is so cute. So it's literally called Love Letter. Um, oh, that smells amazing. So this one's coconut, cocoa. Um, it's got some citrus stuff. Bergamot, okay. That's what's going on in this one. I definitely smell the citrus and the bergamot. Okay, so these are amazing. I'm so glad I bought these. Um, I can't wait to use them. You want to smell? It's like, wow. Well. All right, see you later. Oh, Moon. Oh, no. Oh. I just broke, broke open the toy. Oh. Good boy, Moon. Yeah, stay like that. Good morning. So it's the next day again, um, and I have officially broken out postpartum. I've got a couple of hormonal zits right here, a couple of thingies here. I was just talking to my friend Carolyn last week. Moon. <laughs> Moon and the baby are below me right here. Um, I was just talking to my friend Carolyn last week, and she was talking about how skincare, she was talking about her skincare routine, because as I was asking on the other video, what a girlies do in their 30s for their skin. She was telling me about what she did for blemishes. And I was like, oh, I don't have any blemishes yet. It hasn't happened. I think I jinxed myself. I didn't knock on wood because a couple of days later, this happened. So I went back to shoppers again. I think I go to shoppers at least twice a week now. Um, and I got a couple products. Oh, and I remembered to bring a reusable bag. They have a use. So, okay, the first thing I got, and I took it out of the box because I needed to use it right away, was Rapid Clear by Neutrogena Stubborn Acne Benzoyl Peroxide. Because back in the day I used to use, when I had a whole bunch of hormonal acne, acne I would always put benzoyl peroxide on them and they disappear. Um, it says maximum strength, 5%. I put some on last night. Still there. Anyways, I also bought... So, while I was in the shoppers, I just googled acne clearer upper. Best acne clearer upper. And uh, I came up with... It came up with La Roche-Posay Effaclair Duo. So, it's a... Hi, Moon. <laughs> so it's a skin cream and an acne well what does it say anti-recurrence cream so it helps get rid of the acne and then it helps you not get more acne which I don't think benzoyl peroxide technically does I mean te benzoyl peroxide is more like something you want to moon moon just wants to give so many kisses he's just so full of love moon no Ooh, yeah, I wouldn't want to be sticking benzoyl peroxide all over my face because then I would just have a really red face and really irritated skin um, And I have sensitive skin. So I love the Rush Pose. I have a bunch of their other products. I have um, Lipicar for the kiddo because he has sensitive skin too. Go figure. Um, and I used to use their lip uh, gel Lip gel Lip chap 
I used to use lip chap. Um, anyway, so I haven't opened this yet, but I guess I'll use this tonight. Then it said, it says on it, thoroughly clean your face and then use this. I haven't been washing my face for maybe a year and a half. Okay, that's a lie. I haven't been washing my face for way longer than that. I just, I had dryish skin. I didn't have oily skin. I didn't have that many blemishes. I just, it was just like, meh, whatever. I mean, I have sensitive skin, so I'm a little bit scared to like put stuff on it, strip any oils and, but, I realized, okay, so here is the Effaclair. So I'm gonna try this. I realized my mother-in-law bought me face wash. That might sound rude, but it was actually, she's actually a very sweet woman and that was probably a nice gesture. <laughs> she she knew I liked La Roche-Posay, so she bought me a La Roche-Posay Tolerienne face wash. Um, and I hadn't used it yet. And it says all types of po, Oh, all types of skin, it's in French. All types of po. Is it calling me poor? Um, all types of skin. Cleansing and makeup removal fluid, face and eyes, all types of intolerant skin. I definitely have intolerant, churlish skin. So, dermal cleanser. So we're gonna try this. We're gonna try this. We're gonna try this. And I just dropped this, which we've already been trying, and then fall off scales. We're also going to put on e.l.f. Glow, so it's the dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury, the, the Halo Glow Liquid Filter. Be able to put some of that on to cover up whatever else is happening. Um, I am a little, it's in fair light. I don't know if that's the right skin color. I just it's my guess um but moon is on the floor right now just rubbing itself all over thanks moon you have fun good boy <laughs> he's a silly dog um but yeah if all else fails we'll put this on my face and it's not like it's just meant to make you radiant and whatever um, it's not like a full foundation, uh, but I'm a little bit scared to put foundation on my face. True story, I have only bought foundation once in my life. And I still don't really know how to use it. Um, and so I'm a little bit scared to put full foundation on my face. I also am scared that full foundation will then make me break out more. And I have sensitive skin, so... But this is more of like... You know, it's it's a glow. It's a, it's a glow. I'm not gonna say foundation. It's a glow serum. Um, glow tint. Tint. It's more of a tint. So I'll be trying that on my face. Um, and I got all this with points because I have a zillion points. So whatever. No loss to me if it doesn't work. Actually, a loss that that was it was like sixty thousand points. So I, it better work. <laughs> anyway, so I'm gonna try all this out. That's my shoppers haul for the day, um, and we'll see if it helps. And I'll let you know. We'll see in the next video if I have a super red face, or if uh, you know these boutons have uh, cleared up a little bit. I can see the redness fall here. It's hormonal. I don't also, note, in the previous sections of my video, I had some wild hair going on. Um, and this is just a uh, disclaimer. Do not take a bath and then decide, well, after using a bath bomb, decide, I'm gonna wash my hair. Okay, this is disgusting, but uh, sorry. I'm, I'm a new mom and I'm trying to save some time. So I was like, you know what? I'll just wash my hair in this bath bomb water and uh, I'll just rinse it out. I'll really rinse it out and it'll be fine. It'll be fine. For the next two, three days, I had crazy yucky hair. Um, just some wild hair going on. It was like stuck to my strands. Um, don't do that. 
I mean, I, I don't think most people would do that, but uh, definitely don't do that because then you'll just, you'll have to rewash your hair to get it all out and not in bath bomb water. Don't do that. All right, so I hope you like the vlog. Don't wash your hair in bath bomb water.